Hi, this is Jason Warner, Pacific Wastewater Optimization, and this is going to be a fun video. How Clarifier Modeling gives you X-ray vision into your process. Um, I want to highlight uh, this case study from Northern California. Uh, we went in and talked with the plant manager who said, my clarifier doesn't operate above 10, MG, 10 MGD. This was a 95 foot primary clarifier and they wanted, they expected it to do a lot better. A 10 MG was about 1400 gallons per day per square foot. So decent loading, but they really expected more from this unit. And, and what they asked for was they wanted to improve performance up to 17 million gallons per day. This basin was intended to serve as a, as the, as a backup for another set of basins that were constructed much earlier in the plant's history. And so there's a lot of, a lot of lessons to be learned out of this data. One is that uh, down here at the 4 MG, or you know, let's call this a 5 MG flow rate, the data is really tightly bunched and the performance is very good. They're getting solid capture efficiencies, let's say between 70 and 80%. And a lot of times when I talk to plant managers, I say, hey, how, how are things performing? And they say, great. And this is the set of data that they're talking about. But what happens in a lot of clarifiers is that as the loading increases, as the hydraulic loading increases, performance really deteriorates. And so this data really shows what the plant manager knew, um, or, you know, was describing that the performance of this clarifier really deteriorates as the flows increase. And so we, we partnered with this uh, agency and performed CFD analysis um, on the tank. And what we see, this is looking at the, the 95 foot um, clarifier in, in, in section. So this is 47.5 feet. Um, the flocculation well is here. And so what happens is we, we, from the center column, the flow enters into the tank, bounces into the flock well and is directed down and we see as we start pushing the loading up, this is at 17 million gallons per day, that those downward velocities then press into the sludge blanket and you can see this shearing action of the blanket. And so in a tank where you're trying to, to draw sludge inward into the sludge hop, this shear is, is self-defeating. So above a certain flow rate, the solids capture in this, uh, this tank is, is low, both by the historical data and then the modeling predicts uh, solids removal efficiency of 23%. And so what we did is then modeled uh, some improvements. Uh, there's a, a, a system that we uh, design and sell called a canopy baffle. Uh, we place that here as well as a flocculation baffle, which helps improve internal flocculation um, in as as flow enters uh, the, the clarifier. Uh, and then we also provide a really good lateral distribution out of, of the tank. And so what we see um, in the, the with our x-ray vision is that um, the sludge blanket is no longer sheared and we have very high performance, uh, even up at uh, 2,400 gallons per day per square foot, we're still um, up at 48%. So that we improve from 23 uh, to 48% um, through uh, the, these improvements. And so this is a picture of what uh, those improvements look like in this basin. We can see the existing uh, flock well up top uh, that we uh, are able to hang flocculation baffles um, around the perimeter of that flocculation baffle. And then here's that canopy baffle. So as, as flows would enter in, they would bounce along this tank, be directed down, and then any downward uh, velocity would be cut off with this canopy baffle. Um, and that's how we were able to get such high performance uh, in circular clarifiers, a combination of, of these two different systems. For those of you that are wrestling with uh, density currents, uh, where you're running mixed liquors at uh, 2,000 or 2,200 higher, um, the, the density inside this flocculation baffle causes a downward component that can be swept into the, into the uh, settled sludge blanket. By cutting that off early, you're able to introduce flow laterally into the, into the clarifier and achieve the highest levels of performance. If you are struggling with peak wet weather or the perform everyday performance of your primary or secondary clarifier and are, and are interested in applying these methods uh, for improvement, be happy to uh, schedule time to talk with you, understand your goals and whether uh, this technology and approach 
is a fit for you and your plant. So thank you and uh, have a great day.